Hello everyone. The next video of data structure and algorithm. In this video, we'll learn how to insert a new node at the end of the double linked list. Okay. So through representation, we can see that already one list is present and every list or every node of the list is keeping the information in the info part, address of the next node, as well as address of the previous node. Okay. So the last node next part is null and the previous part of the first node is null, clear? Now, the only information you're having is start and the new node, what actually I want to insert. So whenever I'm creating the new node, I'm keeping the information in the info part. Next part is null. Also, I have to take care for the previous part. So I'm keeping null in the previous also, okay? Now, whenever I need to insert a new node at the end, that means first of all, I need to reach at the end of the list. Then only the connection can be established. So suppose I have given the value of start to temp, clear? So how to reach to the last node? Now the last node speciality is its next part is null. So till I'm not reaching to a node whose next is null, I'll go on increasing my temp value to the next node, okay? Now here I'm checking temp next is not equal to null. True. True means instantly this temp will be shifted to the next node. Again, I'm checking temp next is not equal to null. Yes, true. So temp will come to the next node. Okay. How? I'll assign temp equal to temp next. Again, temp next is not equal to null. True. So temp will be shifted to the next node. And now temp is pointing to 4000. Okay, now here I'm checking temp next is not equal to null, false. That means temp is now pointing to the last node of the list. Okay, now if I want to insert this new node at the end of the list means next of temp should not be null, it should be 6000. Okay, so that one connection will be established between temp and the new node and new node will become the last node. But as this is double link list, so new node will also keep the address 4,000 in its previous part. That means new nodes previous is equal to temp. Then only it is satisfying the property of double link list. Okay. So very simple concept is there to insert the node at the end of the double link list. So whatever we have discussed, let us implement through programming. Okay. So as per our previous idea, we have copied the entire code of insert end function of single link list here. And we'll see what is the modification I need to do so that I can implement the concept of double link list. Okay. So first I'm creating a new node and checking whether memory is allocated or not. If memory is not allocated, then new node will always be null. So then we'll give the message memory is not allocated. Otherwise, if memory is allocated, I'll enter the value what actually I want to insert. And that I'll keep in the info part. And then the next part I'll keep null. And as this is double link list, so its previous part also I have to take care and I'll keep null. Okay. Then I'm checking whether this node, new node is the first node in the list or not. If yes, then start will be null then I'll give the address of new node to start so that start will point to this node at the beginning. But if start equal to equal null is false, means already the list is present, I need to reach at the end of the list. That's why I am giving the value of start to temp and then putting the condition that while temp next is not equal to null, I have to go to the next node. And when this loop will be over, my temp will currently point to the last node. And if I want to connect new node with the last node, then temp next, I have to keep new node. But as this is double link list, so again, I have to take care for the previous part of the new node. And that will be temp, which was the previous last node. Now it will become the second last. And new node will become the last node. Okay. So while traversal, let us not print the values in reverse order because already we have tested. Okay, done. So I, this is menu driven program. So you have to add one more option here. So 
this is for option three and insert at end. Okay. So instead of begin, this is end. We have to give the function prototype insert end okay so let us check option we have given for three case three and then the function we have defined insert end and we have done only two modifications we have done here the previous part of the first node you are keeping null and here at the end the previous part you are connecting to the previous last node okay so let us execute and check so let us first traverse. Now list is empty. Okay. So let's create the list. So so five number of nodes I want to create. So total five nodes I have created. Let us check. Now 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. Now we are giving the option for insert at end. Now suppose the value I want to insert is 60. Okay. Now let us check. See 60 has been inserted at the end of the list okay suppose once more i want to insert the value suppose 70 i want to insert now i will traverse and check 70 is at the end of the list okay so very simple concept is here if you have understood the concept of single link list then this is not at all difficult you need to understand the concept the diagram and you have to modify the program okay so you can check the algorithm if start equal to null, list is empty, the message you are providing. Otherwise, first you are reaching to the end. And after reaching to the end, the temp is connected to new node. New node is connected to the temp. Okay. So I'll suggest everyone to copy the program of single link list and then do the modification so that you can find the difference between single link list and double link list with respect to insert at end. Okay. So thank you everyone for watching this.